Hi, I'm Dick Hopwood, a technical training specialist for All Sun Trackers. We're here at our headquarters in Wilson, Vermont, where we manufacture the GridTie Dual Axis Tracker System. The load center is made up of two breakers. One 40 amp breaker, which leads to the inverter, and a 15 amp that leads to the control box. The load center is located on the mast, which allows you to shut the breakers off to the inverter and the controller separately as needed. To get into the control box, you'll just remove four screws from each corner, remove the control cover, and inside you will find a plastic bag with an indicator card and two spare fuses and a desiccant which both need to be returned to the control box before closing the cover. The main components of the control box are the microboard, the main board, and the dongle. The Power One inverter you see here is one of the inverters that is compatible with the bracket provided with the All Sun Tracker system. The inverter is made up of two parts, the inverter on the top and the DC disconnect on the bottom. From the DC disconnect comes the communications cable, the SO cable providing power to the inverter, and the PV leads coming from the array. The hydraulic pump unit, or the HPU, consists of three separate parts the fluid reservoir, the aluminum block, and the electric motor. The hoses on the left side of the aluminum block lead to the hydraulic cylinder. The hoses on the right side of the aluminum block lead to the yaw motor. The hydraulic cylinder controls the vertical tilt of the tracker, attached to the can at the bottom and to the cylinder bracket at the top. The yaw motor drives the worm gear, which allows the tracker to move east and west. The anemometer allows us to monitor the wind speeds. If a 30 mile an hour gust is recorded, the tracker moves to its flat position for safety during high winds. We hope that this video has been informative and will help you with your next install.